So it was gonna be a coffee break like last year, but this girl doesn't have any sugar, so I just had and to grab some tea, good. nice tea and not coffee. No, you don't need more caffeine. You're enough already. <laughs> don't need more of it. Yeah, it. So, mm. what's well, up, Lorenzo? Cheers. Cheers, first cheers, of cheers, all. Cheers, cheers, Let's cheers, do this. I really apologize if my voice really just sounds um, tired and I look tired. Uh, it's because I am. <laughs> In fact, tired. we are in Finland now, yeah. first of all, and uh, she's tired because we just got, from, well not now, but we went to this really traditional party, a Kreft Shiva, and uh, I had no idea what I, what I was going to see, and basically they were eating shrimps and singing like, uh, crayfish, crayfish, oh, <laughs> shrimps yeah. <No>. and <laughs> lobsters, and uh, singing like, uh, yeah, like a state border, or how's it called, sailor? So like, it's no snap Caesar. Snap Caesar. Okay, yeah. snap Caesar. Snap Caesar. Snap Caesar. Snaps. Snaps is the drink. Snap. Okay. Snaps. We drink snaps um, in the small glasses, and then Caesar mm. means like songs. Snaps songs. Indeed. <laughs> we started to eat then and having shots and singing all these uh, um, Finnish Swedish, anthem, and, yeah. Swedish, Italian. We sing a li little bit Fratelli of English. Italia. Yeah, Fratelli d'Italia, the national anthem. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, I didn't expect that. It's it's really traditional. I didn't know you guys had actually like songs. In didn't know country. we had a culture. No. I had no idea. No. Like, no, they're very. We do like like sit. It's like a kind of a seated party. Like we sit. It's a really long dinner. We just sit, mm -hmm. and usually we have three courses. But now because we had crayfish, we only ate crayfish. Um, I had some corn, but I forgot about it in the grill. So, for the barbecue. Um, what was your favorite part? Of the of the party? Oh, the, yeah. Okay. Uh, it was probably see all the all of you guys just singing along mm. and drinking over <laughs> every other minute. It was awesome. Like dinner started pretty. I would say what? like half past six or like seven. -ish. Yeah. Yeah. From all the way to like midnight or something. Yeah. And then just the party started. Well, yeah, we we're all <laughs> drunk and uh, and I f like yeah, I was. Falling over everything in the forest and, uh, and something I didn't realize about Finland uh, because last year we talked about stereotypes so yeah we talk about Italian stereotypes now I want to introduce some people that didn't know this about Finland before coming here so I really thought it was going to be much colder yeah it was 27 degrees when I got at the airport yeah yeah it's been a crazy hot like actually summer the whole summer has been re really non finished but I'm happy like this Italian human survived mm -hmm. because it, it would have been really bad if it was like like I remember I think it was last summer it was like on average maybe like 15 to 18 degrees like every single day like on midsummer it was like I think 12 so that was in June because I remember it was the same temperature on New Year's Eve and on midsummer it was so sad so that's, <laughs> that's I wanted what you to expect yeah it. I was expecting that I wanted to experience that because I wanted to bring like all the you know the winter clothes that I have yeah. and then, and so I asked, is it gonna be cold? Or do I need a, yeah. a winter jacket? And then the end, we were just going around with a t-shirt, like nothing else. Oh. And then another thing, I thought we were gonna see much more wildlife and mooses oh, around, sad, going yeah. around Helsinki, you know. No, just, Helsinki, uh, no. Oh, well, the, the streets. Yeah, there, no. And nothing, we just saw mosquitoes and uh, all ticks. ticks, lots. Oh, <laughs> another thing. We went camping pretty much and uh, we had a really bad experience. Yes, yeah, so we were walking through. I don't know if we walked through like some sort of tick nest or something. They just like had cracked their like their eggs had just like uh, I don't even know what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, but we were walking, like trying to find a good place, to sit at the tent, just walk, and then suddenly I look at my hand, and I literally have like forty ticks. If you don't know what the tick is, I think people know. Do you have Z them in Italy? Zicke. 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 Is it really called that? Zicke. I think you're kidding. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I wouldn't okay. lie, of course. Okay, yeah. But, like, you know, like, they can spread, like, disease, like, Borrelia. Is that what it's called in Italian? I don't know. Borrelia? Borrelia. I have no idea. I know. Is it in English or it's... I don't know. That's in Swedish, at least. Borrelia. Yeah. Uh, Borrelia. Uh, malaria? No, not the same thing. No, but I look at one of my hand, and I literally see, like, 40 of them. I had a white shirt on, so I was looking down, and, like, first I see it on my hand, I was like, what the... F and I saw, like, together, and then I see them, like, all over my sleeve. And like I think we had like over a hundred like together. Like she told me we were gonna see a few, but then I didn't expect that many. No, I mean, I've never seen that many. Like I've lived in Finland like almost the entire life, but like I've never seen that many. 
in one place. At some point, where to stop and just dig in through... Well, oh, he had two hairy legs. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> you could see them on mine, but... <laughs> well, I couldn't see them on mine, so I thought it was going to be over. Then I saw two biting me, and I had to take yeah. them off and kill them. And, they were uh, really, really, really small. Really? Like, that was, yeah. They were like baby ticks, I don't know. Like, you could barely see it. Like, they weren't black. Usually, they, they're really just like cold, like... Black. But still affected, because, I mean, so far, I, I keep feeling like a weirdness. I yeah. don't know, something... I think it's like, can they go inside their body and just dig in and... Yeah, you probably have like... Hmm. No, I don't think so. I don't know. So that's that was the wildest thing we saw in Finland. Oh, well, we saw a fox. Yeah. And a few birds. And <laughs> <laughs> here and there, you know, and many mosquitoes. Uh, yeah, so that was really interesting. Also, um, um, you have so many, like... Forests and uh, and swamps and uh, yeah, and, uh, well, it wasn't really like swamps. <laughs> it was like, like you have a lot of I don't know what it's called vas in Swedish. It's like this high grass that grows like basically on the shore and on the water, like in the water. Um, and we have walked through like fields and fields of. Uh, so in order to find a place to plant a tent, we were just well. First of all, we just look at Google Maps and say, <laughs> okay, that sound, that looks like a good location. Yeah. And then eventually we find out it wasn't because we were just passing through swamps and uh, all the ticks and everything. And we so. didn't want to walk on someone's property, so we tried to take like detours, like kind of like walk around, like okay, this looks like I can't see any houses on the satellite view on Google Maps. <laughs> Let's walk here, and we just keep walking and walking. We're just like, yeah, we should should basically be there now. And then we just like see this like whole wall of like the whole tall grass thing. And the problem is like it's because it usually grows in water as well. Like it can start on land a little bit, but you know. If it's like a long bit, like w the way in it, like it's mm -hmm. gonna be like you're gonna get soaked. So we didn't really want to walk through it. Yeah, but I walked through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, had we didn't both, want to. We didn't want, want to, but we, but we didn't. And so at some point we were in the forest, almost pretty much. Uh, well, you were complaining a lot uh, about life uh, and everything about him. <laughs> and, uh, and so we just had the drone, fortunately. So we just carried our location. Yeah, we did. No, it might be legal. Yeah, yeah. Oh. insert footage here. No. <laughs> did you did you film any? Huh? I think you do. Like, yeah, some yeah, videos. I film. I film. I, yeah, it's it's legal here. I can I can. It is legal. Oh. Yeah, it's okay, legal. Okay, good. Then we can talk openly about it. Yeah. So just a little word. It was in a it was in a drone. I just threw the camera yeah. in the air. <laughs> really high up. Just one, two, three, and go. And go and hope for the best. And so we just walk. We didn't walk in someone's property, of course. Mm. Of course, and uh, we found this really, really pretty location. Just it was planting, really nice. planting the tent and doing some fire and eating. I, I tried the sausages that night. Yeah, a couple no. of sausages. <laughs> then, uh, like it this was. week, I tried to be as Finnish as possible, like as Finnish as legally, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, legally as, as an Italian can get. And so we, uh, well, we ate pizza twice. Did we? Uh, well, one yesterday, one in uh, Turku. Oh, you had, you had pizza. I didn't have pizza yesterday. But I ate probably uh -huh. six or seven salmons and yeah. uh, so many potatoes and soup. I tried everything yeah. possible. What was your least favorite food? What uh, was your favorite? My uh, actually the the pasta bolognese. Oh, he bought this really horrible pre-packaged with like <laughs> movement theme. Like that's just like literally like yeah, I don't know. It was like from from the supermarket. Like one of those you just heat up the packet. Like the really. Stuff. I had just a few minutes to grab something to eat, and so I just saw it. And it was like, uh, oh, that's. She told me about those movement characters. <laughs> it must be good. It must be Finnish. And so. Uh, well, yeah. Pasta bolognese doesn't really sound Finnish, but. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I, so there was there were two packages, one with this carrot and mm. the other one it was clearly like a knockoff an Italian brand, mm. clearly. And so I said, okay, maybe I should try the finish one. Maybe they have a different flavor on, mm, on the pasta. It looked really bad. And it was really really bad. Like uh, pasta bolognese is supposed to be red, uh, and it was uh, like it was like brown. And it was brown mm. and a little bit. I think it was like marketed for kids, so that's why it like, didn't taste like anything because it's like kids food basically. I'm not sure. Well, but that was the worst. Yeah, I. I but other than that, I really, I really enjoyed um, <laughs> you flashing for the no. for the thumbnail. Oh yeah. So so, whoops! Italian and Finnish gone horribly wrong. Gone wrong. Don't <laughs> click. <laughs> You can't believe what happened then. My grandma just saw what you can't <laughs> believe what she said. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have some coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what was your favorite food? My favorite food, uh, that's a good question. I really, I like the. Um, like so the in Turku, we went to Turku, which is this really, really small village in the forest, pretty much. 
<laughs> it's, it's my hometown. It's, like, <laughs> it's one of like the ten biggest cities in Finland. Like it's not big, but it's... well, you have eleven. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, me a deal. Me a deal, and the. Uh, my favorite, okay, well, I really like the soup we, we ate. Oh, yeah, we had fish soup. We had was a fish soup, in of the, course. In the, like, market fish hall. Food. Yeah. And uh, I really like the, um, the the soup we uh, we ate and the, um, come on, the, the pre-made soup. Uh, we ate uh, the canteen. The ca so. the, the cantarelle. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, like this, the mushroom soup? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah. that was also like a... But they're really good. Like they have like this like called lemmin kuppi. It's like main, meant to... Like, people usually eat them when they're sick or something. Like mm -hmm. they're really easy but they're still really good. So you can just like put them in a mug and put on some hot water and it's a soup. Yeah, and it has li like a really good flavor of wood because yeah. we're cooking... <laughs> we're cooking the fire and uh, unfortunately uh, she didn't take care of it and so... Um, yeah, we meat. had all the charcoal, is it called charcoal? Charcoal. Charcoal, uh, like, yeah, like, just like the burnt, like, it was mainly wood pieces, honestly. Yeah, um, mainly, and so you, with the spell, you just have to dig in and try to not get mm. any... But it's like button. extra, extra nutrients, little minerals, like, it's, mmm. And then another great thing, uh, was the sunset, probably like 10.30 or something. Ooh, yeah. yeah it would have been cool, like, in, uh, like, the northern, like, especially the more north you get in Finland, like, during June, like, it never gets dark during the night. Like, yeah, it's we'll... like, well, the, now it only got dark for a few hours yeah. still, but, like, when it's, like, midsummer, which is around, like, the mid-end of June, um, like, the sun rises at, like, 3.50 a.m. or, like, 4 a.m., and then it's, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it rises at 4 a.m. and then it like sets at like 2. So it's only like dark for like 2 hours and then like I showed you some videos like comparing yeah, yeah, like yeah. one day on that day and one on like the darkest one. On the darkest day like that's in I think uh, no, December? November maybe? And that's why I think like Finland it's really sad place to live. <laughs> you have nothing actually, to do no, other in, than in the winter it's <laughs> In the winter it's pretty like a lot of people get like seasonal depression because of the lack of vitamin D. Anyway, so okay. we were supposed to go to Lapland for the for the, um, camping, but she told me you guys have like a really, really uh, hazard, like fire yeah, we've had warning. Like, yeah, fire warnings in uh, Finland. Now it's actually been raining, so, uh -huh. but that's been like just recent, like these few days. Um, but it's been so dry because of the heat, like we're not expecting it. Like, like all like the farmers, they don't have any like, What's it called? Grains? Like they're like what's what it's called when you take the grains down? You get the harvest. Okay. Their harvest is ruined. <laughs> Great. Um, it's been so dry. Most of them. Like there's like no one in Finland has been prepared for this. And like I really also wanted to show you the archipelago because yeah. that's like it's where I'm from. Like we have so many islands. Like probably like I don't know how many, a hundred thousands, but it's really like different. I think from from. Like where you're from in Italy. Absolutely, Verona. it was really different. Like yeah. we have in Italy probably like six or seven islands yeah. in total. <laughs> and we took like we started in Turku where I'm from, and then we uh, we drove out to Nauru where we have our summer cottage, uh, Nauvo in in Finnish, and then we took took the bikes from there. So we went by the bikes. Mm -hmm. um, you have to take ferries between most islands, either ferry or they have like small bridges. But we took like we biked to one ferry, and then we took that over to the next island, and then we did the same thing, and we like. Went as far as we could, and one day we went to all the way to Hulchar. Well, I believe you. Right? Yeah, 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 we did. <laughs> I don't really know how to pronounce those names. No. And so that was a really Finnish experience because you get to see like the farmland and mm. all the all the little cottages, really red, really woody. Yeah. And, uh, and also another thing that I didn't <laughs> didn't realize about Finland is, you know, you have the cottage and then you have the Shrek house. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't <laughs> like, really warn in the him. Woods. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we usually don't have running, or we can, might have running, like at our cottage we have running water, but we don't have like a uh, like, uh, water toilet, you know, mm -hmm. like a water closet. <laughs> no, but it's like, um, we have, you can wash your hands with water, you can do that, but you don't have a toilet. Um, and usually we have this place called uh, Utedas, <laughs> Tup, uh, whatever you want, outhouse. It's basically the Shrek house. Yeah, it's like a little, little Shrek, cabin. Yeah. You have to, usually it's a little bit separate from the house, so you have to walk a little bit. Uh, my friend, some snakes, no. Um, but it's just like, and it's like a compostable, like it's a, like it's a permanent porter potty. That's what yeah. I would say. Yeah. Yeah, because then you have to like, it's like, it's made of wood usually, and it's like, yeah, well, it works. I don't have to go on the details. But what if, yeah, what if 
it's like December, really cold at night, and it's snowing, and you see bears everywhere. Can you, can you go bears. to the bathroom? Or? Of course. Or you can just like not go, <laughs> see how <laughs> that goes. I don't know, I would prefer to go, but... <laughs> That's um, that was our. I but we really don't spend wanna, that much yeah. time there in the winter. No. No. I thought it was a really like, um, wintery thing. To go to the car? Oh, I don't like not our family. We usually like Kisela is when our like we're we're on vacation in okay. the summer, so we have time to go there because you don't really want to just go there for a day. And it's like there's not much to do because like cottage we usually like go fishing or we go out with the rowing boat or we do like like cottage things like summery things, go swimming and do the sauna and do like stuff like that. Um, but in the winter there's like it's frozen, like the lake or like the water is frozen and it's cold and it's... Mm -hmm. You can't go to Burias Fisk, get the smoked big fish, you can't get that. No. Which is sad. <laughs> no. So yeah, uh, Finland is basically a really sad place. But it's really modern, like uh, I didn't expect that in Helsinki you go to the library, everything is modern, everything yeah. is... You guys have a really, really nice uh, uh, design yeah. for buildings, or for architectures in general. We have a lot of interior designers from Finland, so a lot of like the, um, like especially like the culturally important, place, like the universities and the libraries and like, um, like some sort of buildings, like they're very... It's basically like an, an IKEA library. Just a lot more expensive because IKEA is like the ripoff. Is it? And it's Swedish. I thought it, well, no, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, no, but I thought it was like a no, national no, symbol, yeah. like IKEA. Yeah, you know, like Sweden. Like I really love IKEA. I wouldn't say it's Finnish at all. It's Scandinavian. Yes, it's a Scandinavian mm. symbol, but um, yeah, no, it's, it is Swedish. But we really appreciate it. We like it. Ingvar Kamprad. He is the man. That's also the, that's the guy who made IKEA. Ingvar Kamprad. Was it? I thought he started just by selling matches or something. Yeah, like it's a. Yeah, I don't. Was I a really don't. Really greedy guy. Well, he, he, some call him greedy, some call him very economically uh, responsible. <laughs> um, <laughs> just a like, nice way to say you. No, but it's like he he lived a simple life, even though like he had like he was like a yeah, multi millionaire. To. Like mm -hmm. he could have had the biggest villa summer, but he like lived in the same little house and drove his old like put put, put car. <laughs> Oh, but he's a cool guy. I never met him, but he's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. And then we went bicycling around uh, the archipelago, and mm -hmm. uh, this girl, we well, we had a lunch basically, and so we went to this restaurant. Tried I tried a uh, like a hot dog with shrimps. <laughs> uh, like a scog and hot dog. It was a weird combo, yeah, but apparently it, a, it worked. I had a it was, really, it was really messy. It was yeah. uh, there were sauce anywhere. Like well, mine was as well. I got a vegan burger and. Usually like they put like, I don't really like pickles, and usually they put like two. <laughs> um, I had 14 slices of pickles in my burger, so like I appreciate that they like didn't want to save them. They were like, yeah, you can get all the pickles you want. I'm like, like, we're gonna give you a favor. Yeah. It was really funny to see you just dig it in the burger and try to pick all the pickles. Mm. And put it like aside. I can't eat them, I just like, I enjoy the burger so much more without the pickles, you know? Yeah, but thing with this restaurant, so mm -hmm. um, I didn't bring the key to my bike, like the lock to my bike um, because I didn't really plan on leaving it anywhere um, but when we went to this little restaurant called Skagen in Hochat I just wanted to like make it look like it was locked so if someone would want to steal it they would be maybe a little scared like ooh it's got a lock on, let's not go close to it, it might explode, no? but it's not really a lock, like it's it's just something that prevent your like your wheel to spin yeah you it's can like just lift it it's like a stationary it's the stationary so you don't lock it to anything you just lock the wheel so you can't you can't you, you basically can't use it and i was just like gonna pretend to lock it which i like i put the stick in the hole um <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then explain um, the, the process no, of it's just, no, i'm trying to explain here <laughs> i just put it there and i didn't like push it in i just like left it like that but i don't know if i like i accidentally Put it in all the way. I I, I want to say I didn't, but I might have. You or, did. I saw you do. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> like, let, let me live in a world when I'm just like, oh, it was total accident. Um, <laughs> Especially because you scream like, I did not just do that. Yeah. No, but I, I noticed <laughs> it when we got back. You know. Mm. So like, that's why. But basically, so so apparently you could lock that bike without having a key, which I didn't thought was possible. You usually need a key to lock things, and that was just like, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna put it in. It's just probably gonna be able to put it out afterwards. 
And, and so we had the 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 bike that was locked and we couldn't go anywhere because we were pretty far from We're like 15, 15 kilometers from the ferry so and that ferry only had one more ride that day In like or, an hour and a half two Yeah, hours. or when we were like we we're trying like to either take the bus from Hucha to like the ferry um, But like and going to Carpo and uh, Yeah, but it's like everything just went wrong and like I try to call because the buses usually go on school days like the latest ones um, and I didn't know if like Paragas, which is like a local school, if they had started their school. So I was just like, yeah, I'll try to call like the information, but they mm -hmm. closed at four. So I was just like, they, <laughs> I called it like, like 15, like 57. So they should have been open, but they were just like, you are standing in line. Please wait. And then just like the time kept going. I was like, it was 14, no, like 4.05 PM. And I was just like, okay, like they, they literally just ignored me. Like an information line just I got I got so rejected and I was so sad <laughs> and in the meantime when she was trying to call them I was going to I saw like people talking so I just want to we had like this plan to ask people if they could give us a ride yeah or if they were going to uh, to take the ferry as well so we can hop in the, yeah. uh, in the truck and then whatever and so we I met this really really nice dude that told me oh the ferry is gonna be like an hour and 15 I'm not going there but then she came. They were start, they were talking their native language. Yeah. I don't even know. No, I just <laughs> for I usually I usually like um, it was it was a it was a weird experience. They they couldn't help you. They were just like no more fairies. No more fairies. Then, like, <laughs> a poor lady in distress comes in. Like these like they were really nice guys. But like, I think they were kind of uh they really wanted to help because I was really frustrated and they tried to like do anything. I just came there and explained like in Finnish like what happened like. Well, I did. I kind of said that someone else locked my bike. <laughs> it might not have been the whole truth. I might have been stupid just myself. But okay, so someone else, like someone, just locked my bike, and now I'm stuck on this desert island, and I don't know what to do. Can you please help me? And I was just suddenly like, oh, you know what? I have a workshop. <laughs> like I, he, I can fix it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. Okay, he can fix it. Or I, I mean, he probably has some sort of weird construction. He can get the lock like mm -hmm. up or something. I think. And he was. And like, she was so happy when she just told me, "This guy's gonna fix it. This guy, yeah, uh, we're, like, fine. we're fine. I love. I believe in people. I love." And <laughs> then this guy came out with like a chainsaw or something. No, like okay, so we follow him to his workshop, <laughs> and we think he's gonna come up with some tools or something. And he comes out with this like circle saw. I don't know what it's called, but like a metal saw, like those spinning mm -hmm. ones. And just like, yeah, so should I start? <laughs> I was like, oh, well, we've already gotten this far, so like... We can't just say no, <laughs> so don't he, break no. my bike. So he basically... He just cut the lock off. Yeah, much. he just sewed it yeah. all off. Um, it was like, he has some cool videos of it because it was yeah, like yeah, sparks was really everywhere. Because of like, you know, when you just use a metal object and you sew like other... No, not sew, is it called? Like, so it was getting closer to get a cool shot what he was doing and the, all the all yeah. the sparks came on my face and my lenses and, no. and and she was almost crying. She was like, oh my god, yeah. I can't believe in people. I, yeah, well... I was yeah. actually, first of all, I was really proud that I didn't cry because I was so frustrated with my like, self and I didn't realize how stupid I was and I was just like, I was like, okay, okay, keep yourself, keep yourself together now. This is not the moment and I was already like called my dad twice about some like stupid thing and I felt really felt I felt really stupid and yeah. like I, you don't want to have to call like the same person all the way and stuff yeah so I did this wrong and it's like it usually doesn't even happen because I'm like basically semi-independent semi? -independent. semi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well, like I try to like get my like stuff worked out by myself but that day was not one of the brightest and best ones for me so uh, my, my father was kind enough to help um, he's not too mad about the bike because I'm getting a new lock. <laughs> um, but we saved a little stick. It's a yeah, we saved somewhere. a little stick. Or it might be actually in my bag. Let's. See. I'm gonna actually check this. It might be in here. Yeah. Another thing that I wasn't expecting about Finnish people is when I say I'm Italian, they pr basically just say random Italian words like <laughs> like uh, window, <laughs> chair, or frutti di mare, or frutti di mare. Oh. That's a popular one. Everyone was just like, Fru oh, it's frutti di mare. mare. <laughs> and they're always gonna have to do the the Mario accent, like frutti di mare, Mario, oh, mamma mia. Pizza, porco dio. Okay, I give up. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <sighs> it was a good for effort, though. So I should get offended every time I see like a stranger saying, you know, being unrespectful of my culture because we're not just Mario. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, this is what it is. What am I, what am I gonna do? What you gotta do about it? Hmm? Nothing, nothing. Yeah. 
yeah, it happens. People, but like they just wanted to show that. Oh, I know some Italian. <laughs> Listen to this. Maybe I put it in here. I did not. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. So glossy. Stop. Now I can't think about anything else. Um, no, but they really liked. I think they were all really happy that we got some some fresh Italian meat. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, but they were like, I, I, all my friends always like to like meet people from different cultures mm -hmm. and like even though like like people mostly know Italian it's like always fun like especially like doing like stuff like this it's not just like you're not just a tourist like you're yeah with I'm, us I'm like part of the family and part of the yeah. you know the wolf pack and like like I actually like I really I we don't eat crayfish a lot at home so I, I'm also <laughs> really bad at doing it. it's like are you not gonna show him I was like oh no, no this girl will show him like I'm like I don't even know how to do that properly because I'm I've also like I've been vegetarian and then like my just our family doesn't like or like our my parents do have crayfish party but they never they never invite you? Oh, because they drink, so... Is it, it's pretty sad. <laughs> no, <not> really. <laughs> it's like... No, but it's like, some families do it all together. My, my parents did it, or they've been doing it with like their like old friends, like they reunite, and which I understand. We've had like a few with like some family friends, but mostly, like, it's a kind of a friend thing, like you do it with your university friends or something like mm -hmm. that, your high school friends, and you all meet, and it's like a big, yeah. big dinner party. And so... Coming here in Finland it was such a nice experience because I got to be Finnish for like 10 days and pretty much do everything possible to pretend to be a Scandinavian. So. Yeah, well, like, okay, so he went, you went camping in the Finnish archipelago. Yes, yeah, so with in, ticks. Uh, with ticks, yeah, you got, you got your first tick bites. Oh, um, what else? You, you, you went to the festival, went to Flow Festival. I went to the Flow Festival. And you got to listen to some techno music. I, I, I got to... Something I, I didn't realize is people don't really listen to techno here. Just, uh, well, like, probably some groups, but like me and my friends, we don't really. We listen to a lot of Swedish music and English music. And, and just... techno is life for, for any kind of person. <laughs> like, techno I noticed. Is... <laughs> Like uh, at the at the party, I was drunk uh, and I took my speaker. I just went to sleep with a yeah. speaker <laughs> playing techno all night. <laughs> you know, so, so we were like listening at some point. We were all sitting there. Like it was like man, like mine it was like, two a.m. or something, three probably. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, mine probably four. I don't really, I don't recall. <laughs> um, we're just like like what what is this weird music coming from? And then we we walk in and we see. Let's finish the shit. <sighs> Okay, we're so the, the where, where? I forgot the, about the thirty minutes limit, so we might have lost ten minutes of conversation. Uh, basically, was telling that the the Finnish stereotypes about like people in general that I thought they were not gonna be as uh, as uh, attract to me, but yeah. of course they were. Or like open and like wanted to talk and stuff like that. Yeah, so I had many like multiple conversations with nice people, and mm -hmm. when you were talking about Italians, politics, and stuff, something that I didn't even know. Yeah. Well, I knew, but I didn't know you guys knew. Um, did, Should we move those stuff. out of the frame? Uh, I don't know if you could see, but yeah, oh, I could put it I down. Are you done with your coffee? Mm, yeah, I'm done. I mean, are you not? What are you doing? Disgusto. Disgusto. Exactly like. Disgusto. Mamma, mamma, don't say no, <laughs> random Italian words. Don't say porca and. Uh, <laughs> Well, actually, this video is in English, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Porco yeah. Dio. How, how bad is it, Miss Madonna? Is it okay? You go to prison. No, I was <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. No, you're kidding. It's, uh... Because uh, you guys and your friends, you say it a lot. We, we Yeah, it's kind of like the C word. We say it a lot, and everyone says a lot. Yeah. We're talking about... So, we had this little thing. It's a big thing in Italy and Spain and Mexico and pretty much all the countries that are really supportive about religion. Yeah. As a, we just kind of make fun of it. And so we approach any adjective to either God or Madonna yeah. or, or Jesus, which is really wrong, but it's something that like, it's culturally. Yeah. It's, we but it's like, it. just like saying as the, like, oh my God. Like, or Jesus Christ, like that's also in English, like they use it, but it's not in the same level. Maybe. But I mean, you're not making fun of Jesus in that case. And so, and so she learned pretty much all the vocabulary. And, uh, and I, I only think. learned like really bad stuff. So, if I would just like go around and joke, people like would probably really just like be so mad at me. Like, if I went on like, in the streets of Italy and just started screaming <laughs> all the stuff I know, they would like literally, like, I would probably get punched in the face. No, they will support you. <laughs> they <laughs> they were like, just yes, no, like, uh, Finland, uh, yeah. 
Oh. And so uh, the question that I asked her before is, uh, would you change anything from uh, mm. or what you already done from the trip in the past 10 years? The 10 days? 10 years. <laughs> in the past, past 10, years, 10 years, would you change your life in the past 10 uh, years? No, so. it's like, I think, well, it's like I said, um, it gets really intense when you spend like this, like much time together. Like we've been together like 24 hours a day for 10 days. Like yeah. that's a lot of hours. That is. A lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of hours yeah. to spend with you. <laughs> um, so maybe just like, I know I can sometimes get a little annoyed and then like I get, I get frustrated if I notice that someone else is annoyed and I'm just like, well, if you can act like that, maybe I should as well. And then I think we both kind of thought that way and we're just like kind of being childish sometimes. That's her point of view. <laughs> yeah. That's my point of view. Yeah. But it's like, that's like the only thing. Um, and like, Nick, no, you, you have time to do sauna. But, like, I'm sad that we couldn't do the sauna. Ah, the sauna. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's basically just... But, like, you, you, you know have you been in a sauna before? I've been so in a sauna it's like, before, yeah. It, it is the same, but it yeah. would have been cool to do it. Like, Do you guys go naked or... Yeah. Almost, or? It depends. Like, some people have no problem. Like, they'll go naked with anyone. Do you go naked? No. Um, I would go with my family. Okay. Or, like, it's same sex. Like, not at, like opposite sex I wouldn't sit but completely like, naked yeah and like in swimming halls and stuff like that you're not even allowed to wear like your bathing suits huh. but it's like only like the, the females are separate and the males uh, okay. oh, yeah, okay. yeah yeah so you don't go like they have some like like what they called like both sex uh -huh. both sexes in the same um some usually those you can wear swimwear absolutely like but like in the the same sex um saunas most of the time, like in, in like swimming halls and stuff like that, you're not allowed. Like, so you can wear a towel around you. Mm -hmm. most people, like most people are kind of fine with nudity. So it's like, I think it's pretty good. Like, I know, like I, I know in like Canada on exchange, a lot of people are mo much more reserved, like with their bodies and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I didn't remember like in the changing rooms after like pee or something, like people wouldn't shower because they were like, they were like refused to like see other people naked and I was like that's like that's kind of disgusting like I I don't want to I play like soccer now for an hour and a half like I'm not gonna go to class like this um yeah but they didn't like really shower but like in Finland like you grow up like being in that kind of environment like in school as well like you have to shower like if everyone is fine with like nudity mm -hmm. and it's like not a big deal that's why I noticed in like Scandinavian movies and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's always much more allowed to like have it's like basically all TV shows are like the HBO shows. There's a lot of nudity, like mm -hmm. Game of Thrones and stuff like that. And it's like it's allowed to be like that. And I think it gives, like especially like I don't know. I can only think from a girl's point of view, but I think it's good that you don't just see like Photoshop images. Like, you see mm -hmm. real yeah. women and real bodies all the time, and it's like you get more used to it and you know like that everyone is different. And you know like some people look like this, some people look like that, some people like. I didn't yeah, some it. people are just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? No, but it's just like just, <laughs> I just didn't find a word. Okay, no, no, but it's just like you see, like you. It's not just this like one photoshopped image, and that's what I think. Like I think like nudity should be more appreciated, and not just like in a sexual way. We should go naked in on the street. Let's do it. <laughs> 2019. Yeah, that's no, a new trend. Course, sure. Oh, we actually have um, a tradition in our. Um, <laughs> University mm -hmm. on the first of May. It's uh -huh. called uh, I don't know what it would be called in English. It's called Propeller Scotta. It's like propeller. Uh, what do you club. do? What um, do you guys do? Well, the girls don't do anything, but the guys run around. The, they have like the student hats, uh -huh. and they run around the street just naked with the hat on top of their private parts. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, the. The only um, public nudity that I've seen is probably, well, not the only one, but the most uh, effective one, <laughs> San Francisco Pride. Oh, yeah. I saw a lot of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Disgusting. Well, not disgusting. Well, just maybe not your cup of tea. Yeah. No, it's just like, yeah, of course, like, it's, it's not, you're not used to it. Public especially. nudity is not like, I don't, I don't, I'm not for it in any place. Nudity but, is nice. I mean, and because no one places. told me about it. Yeah. So we were, like, it was four years ago in, um, uh, with my host family, and we were in San Francisco, and no one told me about this thing. I just saw random people naked around me. <laughs> I was like, why is this going on? Yeah. No, that wouldn't really <laughs> happen here. Not that I've seen, maybe. Depends. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Yeah. 
But next time you try and finish sauna. But it's like it's the same sauna, sauna. It's just like in Finland, it's much hotter in the sauna. Next time you go to Africa, we try the sauna. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna organize a new new trip. Mm. Places we haven't seen. And so, um, to wrap it up, um, yeah, I think the same. Like spending ten days with a person that is not your girlfriend and it's not your friend. Uh, yeah. It's really <laughs> no. But it's like like we we talk. And I've been kind of bad at keeping in touch. It's all thanks to him that we were Jesus so... Christ. Like, she hasn't texted me since May. May, probably. Well, I didn't to even... my defense, I was working, like, 15 hours a day. So I was, like, basically... Like... My, my parents thought I died as well. But she texted me after four months, pretty much, the day... The same day of departure, you know, the previous day. So I didn't know, am I, am I still coming, yeah. you know? <laughs> still no. want me? But it's, like, I'm so happy you came still. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Um... It was and, worth it. Yeah, so. okay, good. That's the most important yeah, part. It was and totally like, worth it. So. I think you got a good like picture of what Finland is. Like both the city life and the like the kind of country life and like the student life like yesterday and like mm. everything like that. So you got to see it was like a good view into like my reality. And I think you got some good pictures as well. In the <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. Follow Shout out to this Instagram. guy. My content is like up here now. It's no more like sunsets and food. It's really <laughs> funny when you like you. The same thing happened to Cheyenne when I visited her in California yeah. this summer. It's a. Uh, it just pa it just you see your Instagram feed just selfies and really like iPhone photo style, and then uh, the, the so way, Lorenzo <laughs> suddenly comes, again like, the photographer comes and. Uh, yeah, well, fo follow me on Instagram, Lorenzo Films. And, uh, well, I can't really pronounce my Instagram handle. It's Charlotta. Charlotta without the A, pretty yeah. much. No, it's good. I, I like it. It's like, I'm usually kind of awkward in front of the camera. I don't know. I don't, I just like, I'm fine with like taking selfies because then I can see what I look like. But like sometimes when I'm just in front of the camera, I just get like, really like, but like I've gotten more used to it now. So it's like. Especially when you have a guy with a huge lens yeah, in front like, of your he's camera, like, Hi. Like, smile. He's like, mm, I see all your pimples. I'm like, thank you. Mm, thanks. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so uh, much. Molto uh, bene. Molto bene. Yeah. And uh, you find all the links down below. Is the promo code Lorenzo. And keep an eye out for our video that we made together. The one in the water and on this forest. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, making yeah. a really cool video of the Finnish like, nature and stuff. Yes. So you can see how awkward I am there. Yeah, so the my acting. Weeks, I'm going to upload it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being so kind. Thank and... you for being, letting me be on your chat, no, <laughs> your video. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for everything. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Now we gotta do the thumbnail, should I just... Uh, <laughs> going, <laughs> just I can't believe this going, happened! <laughs> like, what the fuck? No. I just have to check how many, how many likes I have. How many likes? How many clicks?